It fucking worked. Bro, this is like a fucking work. Like that. when I got the call about two weeks kind of all right man we got a lot to unpack on this episode um, some of you guys might know if you follow our channel that you know we went to the Super Bowl and we were some of the indigenous performers for the event and I want to give you guys the insider access because you're a subscriber to this channel or maybe you're new to this channel but um if you are and you're following along in this year's uh series um we're we're gonna raise two hundred and seventy six thousand dollars over the next few months to host the most badass powwow in october in alberta canada that's gonna service um thousands of youth because we have a youth day right before the powwow and have and we're hoping to pack the arena of 8,000 seats. All right, so on the last video, there was some comments there that, you know, for people giving some ideas of what to do for fundraising. And I, I thought I'd want to highlight some of the cool ideas. And I'm just going to pop them right here beside me. But G -A G W Hampton talked about how he would like to donate. You could check that below the link below this video um i actually have a donate button uh already set i forgot i had that so i'm gonna put that in the link below and it says 500 dollars to donate but you can adjust that price to like if you want to do 20 dollars 10 dollars five dollars five thousand dollars whatever you want to do you can put it on there so uh gw hampton thanks for that i'll put a donate button uh along for the rest of the series now uh ts amy Char Hapti, um, I'm sorry if I butchered that that name, but she talked about doing a virtual part of the POW where people could buy tickets and watch it online. Uh, I think that's a great idea as well, but we do live stream it uh, for free on YouTube um, so that you guys could actually watch our previous POW that we did. Uh, Fing Book said, maybe get some crypto involved you know so for some some way you can get some cryptocurrency involved i'm a cryptocurrency person you know i love doing cryptocurrency so maybe we we, we think about doing an nft and if you buy the nft you get free access to all our power times events we have youth day events we have a, a gala that we do we have our powwows maybe that's something that we could do in your your created um, you're treated like a, a VIP person or something that we could do. But, you know, those are some of the ideas. Um, if you want to be featured in our next video, um, comment below some ideas that you think that would help get us to that $276,000. Uh, another update here is I applied for two grants. And I'll, I'll link those grants below so you guys could see kind of where I was applying to. But I applied to Canada Heritage for 276,000, I'm sorry, that would have been all the money, for $188,000. So I applied to that one. And I applied to the Ministry of Alberta for Culture for $75,000. And so those two, if we were to you know get it it would be 263,000 which would only leave um you know less than $20,000 to fundraise but my experience with grants is they never give you the full ask so last year I applied for 150,000 from Canada Heritage and I got like 68,000 something like that so you know cross my fingers we get a lot from it but when you're doing grants uh just know that you you a lot of times won't get the full ass that you do so in our next video i'm hoping to have the sponsorship package done for you guys and i'm thinking of doing a thing called team 300 and so that's something i'll explain a little bit further now let's you know enough about me i know you don't want to see me just talking here let's get into the video of super bowl so i took off from snowy cold alberta and landed in sunny, hot Phoenix, Arizona. So we're actually out here in Phoenix, Arizona and doing some work for 
the Super Bowl right now, which is true. It was just doing some work for the Super Bowl, which is so awesome. But you know, to get out of uh, the winter weather of Canada and Alberta to come out here in Arizona. Beautiful, look at that, not even a cloud in the sky. But, um, <clears throat> and it's, it's strange because it's February right now and it's such a nice, nice uh, thing. But, you know, we're doing all kinds of shows around the Super Bowl, but we're not actually in the Super Bowl, which, you know, I'm like, how can we get in? So we get these badges that, uh, we get these badges <clears throat> that say like Super Bowl kind of staff or whatever. We're gonna see if we could sneak in using those badges. And if we could do something like that, that'd be absolutely amazing. So th that's the goal right now. But you know, to have some native indigenous representation for the Super Bowl is actually really, really cool. So here was a, a big issue. Um, we're here at the accreditation place in Phoenix, Arizona and I'm having trouble getting my accreditation, so we'll see if I can actually perform at the Super Bowl. But while, while trying to perform for Monday, uh, opening night Monday, it was a locked fortress. There was police, there was barricades everywhere. And it was such a really cool experience. When we got in, we got escorted into like a private access. The Footprint Center where the Phoenix Suns play. And we got put into one of the offices. You know, one thing that they didn't do that I, I'm so used to, maybe I'm spoiled, is we have you usually have like a layout of great food and water and snacks for all the artists involved. Um, so we didn't have that in our, our little office till later they brought some Gatorades, which was really cool. But I met some cool people, uh, part of... Um, I met, you know... One of them, I love UFC. If you don't know that, I absolutely love UFC. And I got to meet um, Sugar Sean O'Malley, you know, uh, uh, ranked number one right now in UFC for his weight class. And I got to meet Matt Roloff, you know, a famous uh, person who does TV shows and he was awesome to meet. And that was all part of opening night. You know, we did rehearsals, we, we got to see the we got to see the cheerleaders who were part of both teams with the Chiefs and the Eagles and we got to meet them and they were also good performers as well. But so far, you know, being a part of the Footprint Center and opening night was so awesome and I, I truly enjoyed this experience to be a part of that. Oh man, that's what it's like to be center stage. Right here with the with the, the brother. Please welcome the Valley Zone Indigenous Enterprise and World Hoop Dance Champions, the Sinqua Family. So I just found out um, being Canadian uh, when I did my accreditation for the Super Bowl that um, there was no option for an, a Canadian address so they're they're having a hard time doing a the back background check because I I didn't have a United States address so that might be an issue um, I got to the next phase of, of doing my my work for you know, we already performed for the Super Bowl, like uh, opening day, but leading up to game day, um, you know, trying to figure out how to get that accreditation next. And so my name's in the system, I'm in the background, but we're still figuring out, you know, how hopefully cross my fingers that it comes in on time because, 
you know, that's the next big thing as being a part, you know, why I'm here in Arizona. And then figuring out after that, could we get in a Super Bowl? You know, it kind of sucks that, you know, they were, we're performers like all of us here and we're, we're, we're hired by the NFL to be a part of this thing. But they didn't comp those tickets to actually watch the game. You know, it's almost like, you know, come on in, do your thing, and then we got to kick you out because the rest of the people need to come watch the game. But, you know, I, I would, as an organization, would have hooked up some of the artists, even created like an art artist kind of area, uh, people who were contributing to the to the to the game to be part of to watch it as well. You know, that's probably what I would do as an event person. But I get it. You know, you got to make that money and having that different mindset you know it's not like indigenous we want to give everything we want everything we could as much as we could but anyway we'll see you on the next episode peace all right you know so thanks for watching this video right here is part two so you want to check out part two because it's starting to get a little more crazy i'm going to show you the awesome food that we we ate and also how we had to sneak into the super bowl because they didn't give us tickets. So check this video out right here. You're still on? Click this video, just click it. It's gonna do part two and you're gonna enjoy it. I know. Check it out. Also, like this video, comment and subscribe. Just do it, just do it. <laughs> and then click this video. All right.